Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how your web host can affect your SEO. Because your web host actually can affect your SEO, and that is actually one of the easiest ways, in my opinion, to improve your SEO ranking is by switching out your web host and going with a better one. Now, before we get into this video, obviously remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will actually leave a link to some of my recommended web hosts so you can check them out in the description below if you are looking to make a switch from your current one. And now let's get right into the video. Now choosing the right web host is actually extremely vital for your SEO. Your SEO is so important. If you don't know what SEO is, it's search engine optimization. It essentially handles where you are ranking in the search engine results. And as I've said, SEO is incredibly important, but nothing's more important to SEO than your actual web hosting platform. A lot of web hosting platforms will actually be bad or detrimental to your SEO, so you need to know these few things about your platform and evaluate if it could be, you know, ruining your website's chances with potential customers and traffic. Now the first thing you need to understand is the server uptime and downtime. Search engines put a lot of emphasis on the reliability of a website. They heavily rely on if your website, you know, is actually useful or not, or if your website will actually, you know, stay consistently online. And if your website doesn't consistently stay online, then these search engines will naturally rank it lower. So you want your uptime to be very high, ideally, because that will make Google and other search engines rank your website higher. Next up, loading speed is extremely important. Since around 2010, Google has actually highlighted the importance of page loading speeds for your websites. Now, it clearly states that two seconds is essentially the threshold for any e-commerce sites. The reason being is the faster the site, the better the user experience. And of course, Google wants returning customers, so they try to provide as good of a user experience as possible. Because of this, you're always looking for a super fast loading speed, ideally under 1000 milliseconds in my opinion. Google sets that threshold around 2000, but the faster it gets, the better it is for you. So ideally, try and make it as low as possible because that will benefit your website and your SEO, as well as your customer retention, all of which is very good. Finally, server location is very important. A lot of times because the latency increases depending on your server location, Google actually prefers to show results based on the location of the user. So if, for example, your visitors are primarily based in the US, you should probably try and choose a web host which is also primarily based in the US or at least has data centers in the US and Google will rank your website higher as a result. That's very important important to understand is that your server location can have a very big effect on when and how your website is displayed. So keep that in mind when you're evaluating if your web host is good or detrimental to your SEO. Now that is going to do it for this video, but if you do want to check out some really good web hosts, which I highly recommend and are proven to be great for SEO, go ahead and head down to my links in the description because I also offer them at a special discount. Thanks for watching remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.